After meeting with, with the producers and Guillermo, the first part was studying the basic structure that was in Guillermo's mind that he'd already sort of had animations geared towards. This kind of futuristic DOS boot sort of giant robot submarine, a very claustrophobic look. The directive was, can you build all of that machine to hook to an actor to perform and look as though they're driving this big telemetry robot? The first thing we did was mock up the entire thing, very rudimentary pull levers and springs and thick foam core and plastic and wood. Let's see what we can actually accomplish. We'll get different angles and we'll shoot all sorts of things. And so seeing something this large on a person, its reactions, how it can be accomplished, uh, it, it takes a little bit of the mystery out of it. Once that was accomplished, then you come back to the serious task of designing out how it's gonna be. Speaking with Guillermo and speaking with the production designers of how to ground the fact that these people have to pilot this, this giant robot, and we knew that it had to be hydraulic and go on a, com a control system and be operated, because the whole thing is like 10, 12 feet. But for a practical standpoint, you don't wanna have hydraulic things on the actor's arms because you could hurt somebody, you, could do that. you will never be able to coordinate that. That has to be actor-driven modular pieces that will interlock and then work with uh, the choreography of them. We did a lot of reverse photography and a lot of cable-driven things that clamp around their feet and things that clamp around their wrists. We also built the control panels used for communications and there's like a lot of sophisticated looking, interactive things for them to do. The Conpods were completely redressed to each country's sort of aesthetic. Once we got to uh, Toronto and had the machine working, then you have to work with stunt people, then you have to introduce the actors to that machine, rehearse with them. Then comes that glorious moment at four o'clock in the morning. The entire crew is there and it's day one of the Conpod. All sorts of things happened, you know, they were on a huge gimbal that went up in the air and shook people and kind of throttled them and rain was coming down and sparks were flying down and meanwhile there's like five or six cameras on cranes moving in and out and getting every possible angle.